Sharking in Rust is the act of tricking or forcing players to end up submerged in a body of water, where they become essentially defenseless and easy prey for anyone who might have expected them to end up in such a situation. In a previous video, I sharked the large oil rig and got some pretty decent loot out of it. In today's video, I'd take it one step further and see if it was possible to shark cargo ship and score some of the most sought after loot in the game. Ah, oh, sick. <laughs> He's got an iPhone, what? Today's video is sponsored by Mecharena Robot Showdown. Mecharena is an amazing free multiplayer shooter that you can play on either mobile or PC. Unlike a lot of other mobile shooters, the gameplay of Mecharena really rewards experience. So if you put in some hours, you'll dominate your opponents. Are you sick of getting roof camped in Rust? Well, you can do some sniping of your own with the Long Arm, a tier 2 sniper rifle that you can unlock after only a handful of games. It does greater damage at longer distances, so you can sit back, grub gunfights, and rack up a bunch of kills, which allows you to level up faster by earning more rewards. Being a deadly sniper in Mech Arena means being aware of your surroundings, so pay close attention to the minimap to keep an eye on anyone trying to sneak up on you. To help with this, I like taking the high ground to keep an overwatch on the arena and pick off enemies one by one. Also in June, Mech Arena are celebrating Pride with their LGBTQIA community. There are some really cool Pride themed skins that you can claim for free just by playing as part of the event Crate Rush. I've honestly been really impressed with how polished and addictive Mech Arena is to play, and you guys can join me in playing it for free on Android, iOS and PC. Also, by using the link in the description or scanning the QR code on the screen right now, you can get a free $30 starter pack, including a skin, a prodigy crate, and 5,000 free credits to help you get started. Also, if you're quick, you can add me to your friends list and we can dominate the arena together after we've rage quit from Rust. Thanks again to Mech Arena Robot Showdown for sponsoring today's video. How's it going everybody? We are back on Rust console today. This is a monthly server. It's getting closer towards the end of the wipe. We're kind of like just past halfway. And the plan for today is to record Loot Shark episode two. <laughs> this may or may not be the final episode in this little mini series. We'll just see how we go. But I've got some pretty, uh, pretty crazy ideas for what I want to do this way. <laughs> so let's have a look at this map. So I want access to large, large oil down the south here. And I also kind of want a fishing village close by. So maybe like over here where my ex is. Oh man, if I can pull off like what I'm hoping to pull off today, it's going to make for some really good content. So I just hope that I can do that for you guys. And also voice, voice over Harvey's might've already done this, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support lately. It's been insane. And yeah, I feel very lucky. And it makes doing this so much more enjoyable, you know, when you know that people are enjoying watching your videos. Hey, pickaxe is kind of handy. Yeah, the server's kind of popping, so, which is going to be, it's going to make it uh, a lot of fun, but it's going to be a bit of a challenge as well. I was playing this wipe on Mine TT Monthly, a highly populated server in the Oceana region. Straight away, I'd found the perfect area for putting down a base, and although I got killed here at Oxum's, I'd placed a sleeping bag, so respawned and farmed up for a base. The checklist for my preparation was a base with easy access to water, a good melee tool, preferably a jackhammer, and a couple ladders which I luckily had the blueprint for already. Should be enough for a pick and a hatchet. Okay. 
Hey, nice. It's huge. So do a quick recycle here at Harbour, and then we'll try and get a starter down. Just a little, like, one by one with the TC. Dude that killed me with the uh, with the custom before, <laughs> or the Tommy? Who sure it is? Let's get out of it. Get the candle hat, most overpowered item in the game for nighttime farming. <laughs> yeah, the nodes around here are crazy. I'm like Loki, kind of excited to build this boat base too. Yes, I have the ladder blueprint, man. It's like one of the most important blueprints for this wipe. Yeah, I probably already spilled the beans on this, but uh, the plan for today is that we're going to try and shark cargo. And I have a very, like, intricate plan, which I don't know. I don't know if it's going to pay off or not, but if we pull it off, it's going to be pretty awesome. It's really going to be pretty awesome. So I'm keeping a close eye out for it. We're not ready yet, but we're, to be honest, we're not too far <laughs> from being ready. <laughs> oh, man. I just need to kill a few animals and yeah, get a few few comps for some ladders mainly, and also like a few scuba kits. So I'm thinking we probably we're probably gonna miss the next cargo depending on when it comes out, but the one after that is what we're aiming for right now. Man, there's no animals out here. What's up with that? Do I have oil refinery? Oh, I do have oil refinery. I think that's tier two though, right? That might have to be a post shark. <laughs> Um, oh plan. There's a bear, nice. Sealed in. Yeah, boy. Hell yeah. Good little airlock. <laughs> nice. Alright, so this will be some sort of loot storage, I guess. Time to collect our first boat. hungry man I'm gonna make some food and then uh yeah we'll get back to um hitting the road trying to get some comps 
and yeah, keeping an eye out for cargo. Oh my god, car goes out. I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready. Do I have any rope? I can't do this if I don't have rope. Ah, we're not ready yet. Man, it's right there too. <laughs> it's right there. That must have spawned so close. Ah, okay, next one. Next cargo, we're going for it. Okay, I'm gonna spawn out a bag. Try and get a bit of scrap back here. The first cargo spawn since I logged in was right at my doorstep. Sadly, I wasn't ready for it yet, so I hit the road to make sure I had what I needed for the next time it spawned in. Ooh, paddle. What I do kind of also need is a jackhammer as well, which is going to be a little bit tricky with the location of outpost, unless I get lucky and score it from a crate, but can't really rely on that. <laughs> oh my god, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? I gotta come back, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, he, had, he had a fair bit of loot, actually. He actually had a fair bit of loot. The paddle. How's the range on the paddle, man? <laughs> That's insane. We get two kits, maybe? Nah, there's such a, like, chill way to play Rust. Such a chill way to play Rust. Because I don't really have, like any proper plans other than trying to <laughs> try to shark cargo so between now and cargo is just free time like there's nothing I really need other than maybe a Jackie maybe that's what I should try and get on this run is we will uh, we'll head up north is there another guy running from the right there Holy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's loaded. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, dude. <laughs> yes! It's kind of broken, but that's gonna work for what I need. Oh, that is so perfect. No way. Shanksy again. I think that was the guy from Harbor. Uh, I love Rust sometimes, man. Ah, uh, very good. Very good. Stoned up. Oh, hello. This is 100% going to be contested. It's probably called in, I think. It's a bit of a weird, like, location. Oh. Oh, that dude just went into that base. What? Do you have a scuba tank? It's, I'm so dead here. Wait, where is this guy? What's he doing? No way. What 
is he doing, man? Damn, we're kind of juiced. Let's get out of here. Bro, M39. We could definitely make a play with that. Yeah, I gotta start prepping because cargo is gonna come around sooner rather than later. Gotta be ready. Okay, a little recycle. scrap that's all we need that's a tier two ah so good it's been a pretty good run man like to be honest haven't had any like painful deaths yet which is always nice <laughs> oh that's so good that's so good I actually want a bubbler. Yo, what's up, bro? Yo, what's going on, man? Hey, not much. Yo, I can have? Surely. No, you got it. What, uh, what are you after? Anything. A weapon, a hatchet, a tool, anything. I could give you a little something something. Something's better than nothing. Ooh, got the bow and arrow. I'm gonna go fucking cut up. Hey, Thank good you. luck, brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, like a glove. Like a glove. Ah, oh, car goes out. Shit. That was so fast. My god. Got preoccupied. <laughs> I got so distracted building the base. Fuck, okay, I think we can still do it. Okay, I think we give it a try. Okay, phase one complete. Okay. 
to be able to look. Is there any loot yet? No loot yet, okay, that's alright. So pretty much, like, I just need to get back to that ladder. And I think the only way to do it is to park the rib in front of the boat and do the same procedure again. But this time, like, surely they're going to see me. Surely they'll see the rib. Can't allow myself to run out of low grade here. Okay. We're on... As long as they don't jump off and grab that rib, I think we're good. <laughs> Phase two complete. And now we wait. We wait for the crate to be gone. And then and then we pray. Then we pray that they try and swim back to shore. No way. So I'm hoping that like if I go to the bottom of that ladder, I might be underwater so I can see when they jump off. That's like that's the plan. That's why that ladder's halfway in the water. They're just a little bit reluctant to go down there because they don't want to be kicked off into the into the ocean. The only thing is, like, the one the one thing that I haven't prepared for here is having a satchel for if they bring back another boat. That's, like, probably the one flaw to this plan, is that I need a satchel. Oh. There's the crate. Please jump. My God, dude. <laughs> what? <gasps> dude, it actually worked. Oh my God, it actually fucking worked. No. Fucking way. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm shaking. Get in. Yes. is how you shark cargo <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i can't i seriously can't dude rocket <laughs> man my jackie almost broke too i could not believe i was able to pull this off 
After laying low for a little bit, I headed back out in the cover of night to search for the AK that had fallen to the ocean floor. Yeah, boy. And then I took a break, but I'd be back. I wanted to see if this strategy could be repeated against different enemies. Man, we're kind of loaded. <laughs> Didn't take long. I go again. I'm actually gonna try it again. Oh my god. Hey, it's gonna be different people, right? Like, there's no chance the same guys try and take it, right? enough a rope. I don't think I have enough rope. Okay, I'm gonna spawn at supermarket. <laughs> Hopefully find one rope. That's all I need. I need one more. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Lawless. <laughs> Lawless. Wait, <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Ah, oh, thank god. I thought I got screwed then. Man, it's actually kind of like just relaxing sitting at the back here. <laughs> DB grubs, man, what? <laughs> He's like, where the fuck's the rib? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I found a ladder. <laughs> Like it's about to go out. 
like crates about to open. This is the longest 15 minutes of my life, dude. But he's getting taken. No. No, the body's getting taken. <laughs> Man, they must have known I was there or something. Wait, he dropped. He dropped. Yes. <laughs> oh, no way. They were grubs. Man, this this tactic actually works. The cargo shark had struck once again, and the loot on this first guy's body was a bit underwhelming, so I was keen to check out the other body that had been dragged out to sea by the cargo ship but I'd have to be patient and wait for the body to turn into a body bag before I could loot it. Uh, I think I have to wait for this to turn into a body bag before I can loot it. It's all right, I could probably go get a boat. Man, this tactic actually works. Twice in a row. I'm sad they didn't get the, uh, the crates open in time though. So I headed back to shore in search of a boat and returned to check the spoils. <laughs> the moment of truth. <laughs> no, dude. No way, dude. Oh my god. This is the most loaded that I've ever been after playing like three and a half hours of Rust. God, man. C4. Eight SMG bodies. Bloody explosive ammo. Oh my god. Bolty. 260 scrap. <laughs> oh man. I tell you what, I, uh, I'm a little bit concerned that, um, this is going to start a, a sharking epidemic. <laughs> so. Next time you're taking cargo, beware, man. All right, let's uh, I'll sort out the loot and we'll do a little run through and just see what we've what we've managed to score today. So we got a um, got boom in the back here, just free boom. I think there's a bit of explo ammo around somewhere too. TC over 200 high qual. It's like the grub box. Wind turbine. Another little grub box here. This is where it gets juicy. <laughs> A little bit of metal. A few little metal kits here. Not bad, not bad. And the comps, man. 32 tech trash. <laughs> Four Bolties, AK, LR, holy. Uh, I hadn't planned to play any more this wipe, and after recognizing a subscriber's name on the player list, I messaged him to see if he wanted the loot so it wouldn't go to waste. All right, I think we're gonna give this little base away. I noticed a guy's name in chat that, um, a guy's name in chat who I think might be a subscriber, like I, I kind of recognized 
the name. Yeah, this guy here, Ivy, Ivy Raptor. So I might just bag them in, see if they turn up. Doing, brother. After handing over my base and all of my belongings, it was time for me to call it for this wipe. I know this was a slightly shorter video, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it nonetheless. And next time you're out on cargo, it'd probably be worthwhile keeping an eye out for what might be lurking underneath. Take it easy guys, I'll see you in the next video.